Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x times x times x plus x is equal to 10. To find the values of x from this equation. Now from here, x times x times x is x power 3 plus this x is equal to 10. Then it will be x power 3 plus x, then we take this 10 to this side, so it will be minus 10 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x power 3 plus x minus, from here 10, 10 is same as 8 plus 2, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x power 3 plus x, then we take this negative inside the bracket, so it will be minus 8, then minus 2 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x power 3, we take with this here, minus 8, bracket, we put this together, then plus this x, then with this minus 2, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x power 3 minus 8 is same as 2 power 3, then bracket plus x minus 2, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here, this is in the form of a perfect cube. So from here, we'll apply perfect cube rule, which is a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to a minus b, bracket, bracket, a square plus a b plus b square bracket. Then we'll apply this form of a minus b, it will be x minus 2. So here, x minus 2, bracket, bracket, a square, it will be this x square, plus a b, it will be x times 2 is 2x, plus b square, it will be this 2 square, which is 4, bracket, then plus this bracket, x minus 2, bracket is equal to this 0. Then in the next step, from here x minus 2, x minus 2 is common. So we'll take x minus 2, bracket, out of bracket, this here, divided by x minus 2, it is this x square plus 2x plus 4, then plus this, divided by this, it is 1, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, it will be x minus 2, bracket, bracket, x square plus 2x plus 4 plus 1, it is 5, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions, whereas this is first solution, x minus 2 is equal to 0, and this second solution, x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, we take negative 2 to this side, so it will be x is equal to 2. So this is the first value of x, which is the real solution. Then to solve from this quadratic equation, to find the values of x, we we'll use quadratic formula. So from quadratic formula, to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b, b it is this 2, then plus or minus square root of b square, it will be 2 square, which is 4, minus 4 times a, a it is 1, times c, c is 5, then over 2 times a, a is 1. Then it will be x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4, minus 4 times 1 times 5 is minus 20, then over this time this is 2. Then it will be x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16, then over this 2. Then it will be, let's continue from this side, so it will be x is equal to negative 2, then plus or minus square root of negative 16 is same as square root of 16 times negative 1 then over 2. So it will be x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 16, it is 4, 
square root of negative 1, it is i. Then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part. So it will be x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 plus or minus 4i divided by 2, it is 2i. So from here we have two solutions of x which are complex solutions. Therefore, the first value of x is equal to, which is this real solution, is equal to 2. The second value of x is equal to this here complex solution, so to be minus 1 plus 2i. So here, minus 1 plus 2i. The third value of x, it will be equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So here, minus 1 minus 2i. So these are all the values of x in this our problem. Whereas we have one real solution and two complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.